they used to call it. <laughs> Here's Brunel. Bruce Smith takes him down. He hurdled the blocker. Flag on the play. Yeah, Bruce Smith was so good at that, and the other guy that was so good at that is Reggie White. I'm not sure why they try and cut him because they just jump over the yeah. cuts. Personal foul, 15 yard face mask foul, number 78, enforced from the end of the play. He hurdled and got first down. Brunel's face mask. See what happens? Baselli blocks down, so now Taylor has to block Bruce Smith. And Bruce Smith jumps Taylor, and when he goes for the sack, yep. his left hand gets on Mark Brunel's face mask. You see right there? He grabs him. Now, if he let go, it would have been a five yard. But by, by using that to bring him down and turn his neck, it becomes a 15-yard penalty. We still, we still have a heck of a start of the play by Bruce Smith. First down, here is Fred Taylor. Around the corner. Vaselli got Bruce Smith that time. It's only Vaselli, as you said, he's a little banged up, but he's still pretty good. Now watch him, he's gonna get him here, and he's gonna take Bruce Smith and knock him to the inside. Now, because he knocked Bruce Smith to the inside, that let Fred Taylor get to the outside. It's hard to take an inside on Tony Baselli. He's so big and so yep. strong, he'll just keep you going there. Plus, if it's a pass, that's the side that Mark Brunel is going to scramble to. Harrington. He had him, too. He was wide open if he gets the ball. Watch Baselli and, and Bruce Smith. They're really going at it. I mean, neither one of them have a lot of contact. They both want to use their hand. You see, and, and Vaselli's trying to keep Bruce Smith at a distance, and Bruce Smith is trying to get away with him with his hands. So that's what you call hand fighting in the pits. With those two guys, especially Vaselli, if you ever get to his body, you, that's as far as you're going. Taylor gets the first down and breaks one tackle, breaks another. Hey, one of the things, when you're playing against Baselli and you're Bruce Smith, you need a rest. Baselli is an all-day sucker, and he's going to be out there all day, and you're going to rotate guys against him. Here's that matchup again right here in the box. Brunel, alone in the shotgun, throws high. Intended for Anthony Johnson. And, 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 and Bruce Smith has a little of his aggressiveness taken away, not only by Tony Baselli, who's very tough because he's so big and so strong, you don't want to get close to him, but also from Mark Brunel getting out to that side so much in this first half. Bruce Smith told us last night, hey, he said, I've battled this guy before, and we've had some great battles, and he said, it's not going to be pretty. Here it is again. We're going to watch the same battle again. Brunel has Taylor back with him. That's Baselli again. Run 176. Here's Brunel. Ducking under and taken down by Sam Shane. I saw the one that the referee called. I know it's going to be on Baselli, on Bruce Smith. He put his hands. His left. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. 26 defense. Illegal use of the hands, hands to the face, number 71, offense. Those penalties offset, replay the down. This is the one that I saw is, is, is Tony Baselli right here. Watch his hand come up to the face. You see his right hand come up yeah, there? No doubt about it. Yeah, now the referee is on that same side. And this is the one. Brunel to Taylor. A couple, and that's it. The Jaguars, Brunel drops to throw. Brunel to Taylor. About six or seven. Watch here what Tony Baselli is doing to Bruce Smith. He's letting him get up the field, up the field, and then just getting that extra push right there at the end to push him around the belt. And then when Mark Brunel can feel that, he can step up and then go out to that left because that next tackle isn't coming up in his face. Vaselli worked really hard to rehabilitate his leg. Last year's injury. Brady with 
was out there. There he went high again. That was the fourth time today he's gone high. We talked to Bruce Smith on what he thinks makes a good pass protector. A good pass protector, range, wingspan, uh, his ability to move from side to side, uh, has to be smart. He has to be intelligent. He has to be a student of the game himself. Uh, otherwise, uh, he's going to create some, some bad situations for his, his friends and his teammates. Fred Taylor makes the carry, and Matt Stevens makes the tackle. At hand, well, you know, makes it, was, it difficult to catch. It was like I said, they, he had a wrist earlier, and uh, a cast on the wrist, and then, then they put some more tape on it, and they're trying to make a cast out of it. Vaselli and Bruce Smith going after Bruce Smith. Illegal hands to the face. Number 78, offense. 10 yards, second down.